Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are here. And it's Monday, June 2nd. All right, y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is the first Monday of the month of June. And I'm feeling good. Hallelujah. How about you? Amen. This is Kathy Brock and we are live just as the intro said. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus loves you, beloved. We're going to have an awesome show today. We're going to do some scriptures, some uh, praise, confessions, amen. This is kind of like corporate prayer. You know, when you go to church and super early in the morning, they have like corporate prayer, everybody praying together, praying the same thing. Amen. Then we break off into our own um, personal prayers and like during worship and the kind of the music. Amen. amen. I, have, I have been blessed to be around a uh, lot. Lots of different Christians and different pastors and whatnot, and uh, whether it's been on TV or in person or in a conference, uh, a lot of this has been uh, face to face, and um, I consider it a blessing because it, it let me I had an opportunity to see people at their core, uh, to see people without the facades, without the fancy robes on, and I just I saw people as regular folk. Uh, and true, sometimes I could, even with their garbs on, sometimes we could see the essence of people. And you see it by uh, their fruits. Like I said, you can tell what someone is by their fruits. So, uh, I've been blessed to be able to see that sort of thing. And, and uh, of course, I was watching a movie last night as I was going to sleep. I was I often let the TV watch me, right? How many of you guys do that? So I was watching this movie and it was called Safe Haven. And in the movie, uh, this woman was married to this cop who was an alcoholic. He was an abusive alcoholic. So he would beat up on her because he felt bad about his own drinking and he would kinda project that guilt onto her and shame onto her. Um, and then, you know, he would start beating her tail. And she would try and fight back, but of course he was stronger than her. Uh, and you know my, my, my whole thing behind abuse. Why stand there and take it? If somebody hits you once, they're going to hit you again. If a person lies to you, they're willing to hit you. So you cannot honestly love someone and then lie to them. You can't. The simple fact of lying says that you don't love them. And you don't trust them enough with your truth. That's what it means, that you don't trust them enough with your truth. And you just want to screw them, have sex with them, and make them, and have them cook your dinner and clean your house, or go earn that money for you uh, at, a, at a job or whatever. So abusers can be male or female. And anyway, so I'm not want to tolerate that, that sort of mess. I, um, I tend to fight back. And I... I never know what I'm going to do. I know uh, in my experiences, I have tried not to hurt people. Even when they hurt me, I've tried really hard not to hurt them. Because I have like, we all have this connect, some people call it snapping. But I don't, I don't like the word snap. It's a defense mechanism. And uh, we all have it. And we all have our boiling point. So, you know, when I when I see myself getting into situations like that, and I'm, I'm telling you so that you can use this for your own personal use. When I see myself get into situations that are not good for my psyche or not good for my body or spirit, I leave. I've done it before. 
done it often, I leave the situation. Like I told you before, take three to five steps backwards, three to five steps backwards, turn and walk away quickly. It doesn't mean that you're afraid or that you're punk, it just means that you're trying to get get out of a volatile situation. And for some of you guys, it's moving out of the apartment or moving out of the house. And all you got to do is um, leave and you can go ahead and place a report with the police and let them know that you're not missing, but you simply left because it's a dangerous situation. It could be the police, it could be a family member or a friend, and that you simply left the situation because it's not safe for you. So I don't, I, I don't believe in that hitting thing. I also, also don't believe in lying. Like I said, if you love them, you ain't got no reason to lie. Just trust them with your truth, and either they'll forgive your truth, they'll help you with it, or you know, or they'll just, you know, be con consoling or whatever it is that you may need. But um, hitting on people and screaming and yelling at them and mistreating them because you want to have two or three chicks on the side. Because you want to have your drugs and your wine. That's just banana. So she ended up getting with another dude in, in the movie. She ended up fighting back and it, her abuser, her husband, he ended up dying at, at the hand of his own gun because, well, thank God she got the upper hand. But he, he burned down the house and almost killed a little girl in the process of trying to kill her. You know, so... If, you, if you're an alcoholic, you got drug issues or anger issues, get help. Because otherwise you'll end up hurting yourself or hurting someone else. So that's out there for somebody. Uh, I just don't believe in lying. I don't believe in stealing. don't believe in mistreating people. I do my best to walk in faith and to do what Jesus said, which is to love. So I encourage you to love your spouse, love your family, uh, love your neighbor, love your brothers and sisters in Christ love them. You ain't got to tell everybody everything, but you ain't got a lot. This is what you can say when you don't want to lie. I'd rather not say right now. You can simply just say, I'd rather not say right now. And that's not lying. It's saying that I don't really, I don't feel comfortable sharing that right now. And you can just say that I don't feel comfortable sharing that right now. And nine times out of ten, the person will respect that. Say, All right, well, when you're comfortable, you let me know. You know what I'm saying? But don't be getting them into trouble. Right? Alright. Praise the Lord. Let's get it started with our morning scriptures. Praise the Lord. Here we go. Psalms 37 and 4. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Zechariah 9 and 8. I will camp around my house. Because of the army, because of him who passes by and him who returns, no more shall an oppressor pass through them. For now I have seen with my eyes the Lord's prayer, uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 9 through 13. In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. And remember in verse 14 it says, for if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. All right, y'all. Amen, amen, amen. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. John three sixteen and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Mark nine twenty three. Hallelujah. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Deuteronomy 34 and 7. And Moses was a hundred and twenty years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. Psalms 147 and 3. He healeth the broken in heart and bind up their wounds. 
John 16 and 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. John fourteen twenty three, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. Galatians three thirteen and 14. Christ have redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Accursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. John 1, 17. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. Genesis 12, 1 through 3. Now the Lord had said to Abram, Depart from thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house to a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great. Thou shalt be a blessing. I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Psalms 37 and 19 they shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. John 14 and 10. Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. Isaiah 1 and 18. Come now. And let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Amen, amen. And here's the part where we go into grace and mercy. This is the grace and mercy that God has given to us through salvation. Exodus 34 and 6. And the Lord passeth before him and proclaimed, the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long suffering and abounding in goodness and truth. See, God's grace and mercy has always been even before we knew Jesus, even before we were able to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior through a proclamation of faith. God was always saying, just believe Psalms 86 and 15. But you, O Lord. Are a God full of compassion and gracious, long suffering and abundant in mercy and truth. Ephesians 1 7 through 8. In Him we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of His grace, which He made to abound towards us in all wisdom and prudence. Ephesians 2 8 and 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourself. That not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. First Peter 1 and 13. Therefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Micah 6 and 8. He has shown you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? But to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. That's Matthew 5 and 7. Luke six thirty six. Therefore, be merciful, just as your father also is merciful. First Timothy 1 and 2. To Timothy, a true son in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. The following is First Timothy uh, 1, chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. And this is about, stay, about Christians staying in faith, 
Stand in the order of God and never fearing. The only fear you should ever have is called reverence. And that's giving holiness and praise unto the Lord. Trust God with every issue that you have, every circumstance. When you go out preaching the gospel and telling someone about Jesus, have no fear. If they tell you they don't want to hear it, say, thank you. Thank you for allowing me just to speak to you. God bless you. And shake the dust off your feet. See, you've planted a seed by just simply telling them thank you. You plant a seed when you tell them Jesus loves you. Because someone else is going to win them to Christ. But don't be angry. Never get mad. And never let the devil intimidate you. Never, ever be intimidated by the enemy. Not ever. See, God will never tell you to hurt anyone. He'll always tell you to love. That is his very strongest and first commandment. All right? Here we go. 2 Timothy 1, verses 1 through 18. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, according to the promise of life, which is in Christ Jesus. 2 Timothy, I mean, the verse 2. To Timothy, a beloved son, grace, mercy, and pre- grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God whom I serve with a pure conscience, as my forefathers did. As without ceasing, I remember you in my prayers night and day, greatly desiring to see you, being mindful of your tears, that I may be filled with joy. When I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, which dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, And I am persuaded is in you also. When he says, I am persuaded, he's talking about Jesus. He's talking about Jehovah God. Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Therefore, Do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But share with me in the sufferings for the gospel, according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began but has now been revealed by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who has abolished death, brought life and immortality and immortality to light through the gospel, to which I was appointed a preacher, an apostle, and a teacher of the Gentiles. For this reason, I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep what I have committed to him until that day. Hold fast the pattern of sound words, which you have heard from me in faith and love, which are in Christ Jesus. That good thing which was committed to you, keep by the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. This you know. That all those in Asia have turned away from me, among whom are Phagilus and Hermogenes. Hermogenes. The Lord grant mercy to the house of Onesiphorus, for often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chain. But when he arrived in Rome, he sought me out very zealously and found me. The Lord grant to him that he may find mercy from the Lord in that day. And you know very well how many ways he ministered to me at Ephesus. He's also telling him, telling Timothy, Timothy, come and give me a report. See, reporting to the apostle and to the pastor and to the leadership over you is a part of the order of God. God keeps order and he wants us to know, he wants us to share what's going on in the world in regards to salvation so whatever god tells you to tell uh the body of christ and to tell the ministers and the preachers then you do so 
Because God was, he, he uses his people and he uses his servants and he uses those that he sends out. But when he gives you a word, you must give that word to the person that he told you to give it to. Don't hold back that word. So he, if he gives you revelation, then give it to them and say it as he said it. Don't put any the extra anything into it. Just let the word flow. Let God do it. His words will speak to them and reveal everything that they needed to hear. Amen. Amen. Let's get the praise on. Amen. Good morning, Jehovah. We receive the blessing of the Abraham covenant and the promise of Jesus to do more than he, because Jesus went home to the Father. Thank you for this beautiful day. We hear from God and are led by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill our lives and surround us with your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your order, the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, and his holy and perfect blood. Thank you for our comforter, the Holy Spirit, who leads us into all righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for you are hope. We shall keep your word in our hearts and minds. We shall love you, Lord, with all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Today, Lord, we shall honor you by loving our neighbors. We are blessed to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord, for giving us power and authority over the enemy. When the enemy of God comes against us, it shall suffer the wrath of God. The body of Christ stands on the word of faith, for it is our shield and buckler. Thank you, Lord. Every mountain is moved and every closed or blocked door that has hindered the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ is open. In your name, Jesus, we shall win every living soul and every soul to be born to the kingdom of God, decreasing hell and expanding heaven. Jesus, we love you and believe in your saving grace. Thank you, Lord. For every soul and every person boldly confessing and professing the gospel of Jesus Christ, receiving Jesus into their hearts and living to glorify God. Thank you, Lord. As Moses was 120 years old when he died, his eye was not dim nor his natural force abated. As Moses was so full with good health, so are we. We are healed in our bodies and minds. Hallelujah. Any disease or virus that touches our bodies dies instantly. The addicted are delivered now, the hungry hunger no more. Our shoes are replenished and resources never exhausting. You, For you, Lord Jehovah, our husband, made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. That's right. You, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, our husband made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. Your Holy Spirit leads us into all righteousness. We are always in the right place at the right time. We sow into good soil and reap abundantly. Everything we touch turns to gold. We sow seeds of faith daily and harvest seeds already sown. Jesus' good pleasure is our good pleasure. Our spirits and bodies are not dumping grounds. We decrease unbelief in our minds and life. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. We are the beloved, believing you love us and receiving your love, not subject to temptation, submitting to your will, receiving your blessing in the name of your risen son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For we always have more than enough all the time. The kingdom of God is manifested in the earth among the redeemed people of God. God's people ask for his wisdom and receive it in abundance. God's people operate in the power of God. God's people have assured dwellings and quiet resting places. God's people are created and matter in the earth. God's people light shines in all the earth with the help of the Holy Ghost and the angels of the kingdom of God. Jehovah our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. God's people are made to live according to God's world, the one man cannot see. If God be for his people, who can be against us? No one. God's people do not take the attitude of defeat. Those who accept defeat do not know who they are, nor their position in the kingdom of heaven. We, the people of God, are the heads and not the tails, above and not beneath, going forward and not backwards, the beloved and assigned to God. We count it all joy when we go up against the giant. We ask God for wisdom and receive it abundantly, standing on the word of the kingdom for all things. We, as God's people, stand on the word of God. And all we believe lines up with the word of God by his divine righteous order. 
God brings us, his people, health and healing and reveals to us the abundance of peace and truth. The hope God gives us is achieved and manifested in the earth. We worship God of our own free will, not by force or shame, but love and honor. In the name of God's risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior, amen. Here's something you can say, and know this is from the Word of God. When you are in a storm, I love this, I use this all the time. It's a reminder for me. John 14 and 12, Jesus is talking to his disciples, and he says, most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. Amen. That is a great prayer confession. And that is, that's an assurance from Jesus. He said, look, you guys, we're in the home stretch. You can do this. It's kind of like being a coach of a of a baseball team, a football team, of any team. And their team is down to the last few minutes. They're down to the last quarter. And he's saying, give it your all. You can do this. You know why? Because I've coached you. And I've taught you everything that you've needed to know. Everything that you, you need, I've already given to you. And I'm going to give you even more. All you got to do is believe. He's like, I won't be on the field with you. Not physically. Not, I won't be in every step with you. But in, the, in your heart, I'm with you. My words are with you. He's like, I'm going to send you a comforter, the Holy Spirit, and he's going to be with you. I'll see you. And my words will return to you to remind you of the things that I taught you. Just believe. And that's what he's saying. Just believe. So your prayer confession every day is not just the things that we've just said here. But it's the word of God. It's everything that is in you. He is alive in you. This is the reason why it says, I will never leave or forsake you. It's because he's on the inside of you. The word is printed on your spirit. The word is in you. The light of God is in you. This is why though God says, he that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. You cannot hear without an ear. And that ear is the spirit of God that's on the inside of you. It's the word. He's on the inside of you. Amen. This is how the Holy Spirit is able to lead us into salvation. And we got that coming up for you at the end of each segment. Amen. Jesus loves you, beloved, and so do I. Let's kick it off with some music. So here I can.
more of you. We need more of we you. Are totally we are totally to you, live and die. To you live and we call on El Shaddai. Please, Almighty God. Please, Almighty God. Hear our kingdom cry. Somebody cry out to the Lord. Cry out to Jesus. Loves the sound of your voice. He loves it when you tell him how great he is. Come on. You are mighty, and Lord, you are awesome. Even if you think you can't sing, he loves the way it sounds. Lord, lift those hands and say, one more time, all over this room tonight, you are. Stand that you deserve the highest praise, Lord. So we praise you. Everything we have, all our hearts, all our mind, all our soul, Lord. Hallelujah. Lift those hands tonight and say, sing a love song to him. Oh, if you love him, sing it tonight. You're so awesome. Hallelujah. There's nobody greater than you, Lord. You are Lord. And Lord, you are awesome. So we pray.
for letting me see a brand new day. Deep within my heart, Lord, I begin to praise your name. My life wouldn't be complete if you hadn't shown me the way. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Master. Here's an opportunity just for you, amen. If you've never received Jesus Christ into your heart, would we'll, we'll like to do so now is the time. If you are backslidden and you want to return to Jesus, now is the time. No matter what you may have done, uh, some of you may have blown your top, you may have blown your temper, some of you may have committed a crime. Some of you maybe didn't do that, but you just kept saying no to Jesus for a long time, and now you, you figure you know what? I, I want to say yes to Jesus. I want to be forgiven of all my sins before I leave this earth. Alright, let's do it together. Let's receive the free gift of salvation, forgiveness of all our sins. Amen, amen. Let's do it together. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. If, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, but want to, repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sins before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. 
Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Congratulations. Go to LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Click on the link, Find a Church. Get baptized with water. Take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. Tell them you got saved on Barack FM Radio. Sorry about that. Tell them you got saved on LUTG Radio. Alright? Follow. Oh, congratulations. Read your Bible. Starting off with the book of John, chapter 1. And I'll read a chapter every day. You know Barack FM Radio is part of the LUTG Radio Network. Um... We have more music for you. Another opportunity for salvation coming up uh, in the next segment, which is called Birthdays and My Peace. Amen, amen, amen. If you are in Chicago, the weather is kind of warm and a little muggy. About 74 degrees, feeling like 73, uh, mostly cloudy, partly sunny. Dallas, the same thing, 75, mostly cl uh, cloudy. I don't see no sun there. But New York, New York, New York is 61. All sunshine. Amen. All right, y'all. Jesus loves you, beloved. Amen. Jesus te llama querida. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 